Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Playing Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to be here with you getting into my sinking funds and setting them up for the month of April. So I've already kind of begun here a little bit. I have listed out my categories and my beginning balance. So if you saw my sinking funds video from the end of March, you would know these are the ending balances for March and it sets up the beginning balance for April. Um, all my sinking funds are here in one savings account. I take that one savings account and I categorize how much of each um, uh, dollar goes to each category and I have one total number. So I don't have to have a lot of separate accounts. They're all one place, one pot, one place to put it. But each of these is a kind of like its own cash envelope or kind of like its own um, bucket or whatever you want to call it. I am a digital person, so everything I do is digital. I do not use cash. I don't go to the bank. I don't even have my bank near me. Uh, my bank, um, uh, we moved from an area that had a lot of Navy Federals and to an area that had a Navy Federal two and a half hours away. So we, we're just not near our actual bank, but we love our bank. And really I've been doing online for so long. I don't really like carrying cash. Uh, I carry just enough uh, sometimes if I'm traveling, but that's it. And occasionally I will pull money out from a regular ATM at a bank. And if there's a fee attached, I, it's no loss because as far as I'm concerned, it was a convenience fee, not so much uh, any other kind of fee. Uh, I, I just, I'm not going to hunt down. And I do have a few bank, uh, one bank actually that Navy Federal and that bank kind of have an agreement of a co-op and I think I can get fees back, but I don't really look for them because they're not that close to me either. Those are even, uh, you know, 45 minutes away. So I just don't worry about it because I don't handle cash very often and I'm okay with that. But like I said before, these are all my categories. Um, a lot of people like to do sinking funds and do cash envelopes with sinking funds. So I kind of pretend these are cash envelopes. And then if you had total all your cash envelopes up, this, this total down here is that number. But I just prefer to hand write it out and just leave it in the bank because then I don't have to deal with it. I can just move it and pay um, the credit card or the checking account back for whatever it is that we spent out of this uh, sinking funds section. So most of these are bills. They happen once a year or four, quarterly, four times a year. So um, I have two bills that are quarterly. The rest are once a year or the revolving meaning that I take money from if there's birthdays for my sons or uh, Christmas and things like that. Or if we have, um, I have a category called cell phone tech where um, if we needed to add some extra money to buy a new cell phone or technology stuff, replace something, um, we have a little bit of a fun started there. Um, things like that we are good to go. So we are going to go through and put the deposit amount for how many, uh, how much we want to add to each category. And since these are revolving, by the time it gets fully funded, I have to start funding again for the next year or the next quarter, that kind of thing. They never go away. I always have them. So currently on Amazon Prime, which is our my first um, sinking fund here that I have, Let's see, we have $77.32. I am adding $12 to that. And that gives me $89.32. If I take my $12 and multiply it by 12, that gives me 144. I actually need to beef this up a little bit more but usually I add a few dollars later in the month because um, some of the other funds don't need the extra change and I'll move it around to fill it up because I think last year I spent 150 something. I wonder if I wrote it down. Doo -doo. This sinking fund is not due um, until April, not April, wrong month, uh, September. And so I do not have it written down. I can go look up what I wrote up uh, paid last year and I can go online to Amazon um, and look and see what the bill is for September before it even comes up. And so I can uh, adjust this as I need, but for right now, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I wrote the wrong thing in the wrong spot. You guys are probably laughing at me. Oh my gosh. So it's, this is $12. 
It used to be I didn't have to add tax to it and then we moved to Kentucky and now I have to add tax to a lot of this stuff with Amazon. So I'm like, ah, whatever. So now um, I know this is not coming out until September, so I'm just actually going to fill that out. Let me write that number again. 7732 plus 12 is 8932. Now Google Storage, my husband just started this one in February and that's $99.99 a year and we are putting how much? $8.33. So 99.99 divided by 12. That's yeah. Without this extra change, that's what that is. And I know it's not coming back until next February. So I'm just going to add the eight dollars and thirty-three cents. Wow, that's convenient. It's even twenty-five dollars. I like that. All right, twenty-five dollars there. Uh, let's see, Apple subscription. This is um, my Mac. Book Air, uh, um, Microsoft 365, where I can get Excel, PowerPoint, and all the different Word document and all that stuff for my laptop on a Mac, um, MacBook Air. So that's what I have there, and that was twenty one dollars and seventy seven cents, and I am adding six dollars and fifty one cents. All right, and that gives me. 28 28 normally I don't fill this out um, but I don't see the reason why not to because I didn't do this with you guys I decided to do this one with you um, so 651 if I backtrack that times 12 is 78 12 that's a little high so this kind of actually I think it's 69.99 so this is a little high so that kind of compensates for the Amazon Prime so I might have to readjust these and I, if I do, I'll let you know at the end of the month if I change these. I'm gonna have to go back over my numbers. I'm not sure where I got that number. I remember it being less than that before, so we'll have to wait and see. 69.99 divided by 12. Yeah, it was 583. Huh. I'm gonna have to readjust that, I think. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 583. Okay, so I'm going to do 583. And, oops, wrong spot. Okay, I'm going to erase this here and do 583 because that's what it's supposed to be. I think I had a different sinking fund and they always had it next to this one. And I carried over the wrong number from previous months. So 5. 83 times three months, which would be January, February, March. This should be 1749. So I have too much in here. Um, so I'm going to change all of this to even out to that 583. Um, so 21, let's see, no, <laughs> 5. 83 times 4 including April is $23 and I already have $21.77 so I only need to add $1.55 here that's what I'm going to do <laughs> sorry this is real life here uh, backtracking because I had the wrong number for over a year and it gave a little extra cushion which is fine but um, I kind of like it more exact so this $155 plus the $21.77 there we go and 23.32. Then going forward is going to be um, uh, the 5.83. There we go. Now I got that fixed. Sometimes I do adjustments like this just to get it in balance and um, and not carry change and stuff like that too much over. And that works for me. I don't mind doing that. So Apple. 365 monthly I'm just making a note myself is five dollars and eighty three cents that is what I need to put because I do believe when I stopped paying or stopped using a specific subscription I put the six dollars and some change here um, and that actually belonged to one I canceled and then 
didn't bring the 583 that I used to do last year or the previous year. So I've been adding too much, my, too much to this category for a while now. So now that I figured that out, we're going to move on. Uh, home maintenance. I have zero dollars for this right now, which makes me nervous because we actually had a water pipe leak. <laughs> Same one that leaked last time. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to call that plumber again. I'm going to find a new plumber. To, we're going to look at it and see what we can do. And then we're going to find a new plumber because in within the next five years, I'd like to have my basement refinished and I don't want any leaks behind there. <laughs> and we don't use our front. Uh, it's a, the pipe leads to the front of the house, um, water spigot where you hook up your water hose and my husband rinsed off the truck he's driving for work because it had a lot of mud on it and then um we went to the basement and flooded the whole basement i was like man moved it, uh, sprayed everything all the christmas decor boxes and, well totes and tree and stuff so hopefully it all dries out and it's okay but we'll have to wait and see on that <laughs> Hopefully there's not a lot of damage, but a lot of the stuff I had didn't get damaged. So that was nice. Uh, Orkin spray that's, they come quarterly. That's $94. We do $47 a month for that. I do not want bugs in my house. They are not due to come until, when are they due to come? They are not coming until May. So I don't have to worry about that. 94 plus oops, 47. And that should be plenty of money for when they come out. A little more than what I need, but that's okay. That I know I have a cushion on. I'm still tweaking the amount um, that changed last year. Uh, CKY Landfill. So I started with $69.20. And I'm going to add $20. And we're going to actually withdraw. I got a bill. That is going to be 8602. So we're going to do the beginning and end sinking fund. I'm only going to do one video because I'm traveling a lot this month and I won't be out uh, be home to record a lot of videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up because normally my sinking funds, I'm only using them once or twice a month. So it's not that big a deal. Um, so I have 69.20 plus $20 minus 86.02. There you go. It leaves three dollars and eighteen cents. And next month, I will take that three dollars and eighteen cents out. Because oh no, or am I going to leave it in? I want to adjust it to where it's like an even ninety, but I may not have to do that. I may just leave it the way it is. I think it'll be fine. So, anyways, it's about ninety dollars a month, uh, or not a month, a quarter for our trash. So I'll be looking at that and making sure I'm. And that's funny, I did $20. I wonder, oh no, that's $30. But I could do 20. I get to I get an opportunity to change here. I don't want change. So what would the difference be? We're gonna do algebra. <laughs> what is this number in order to make this zero? That's what I want to do because I don't want to add more money that I don't have to. Our budget's really tight this month and I want more in the buffers I can get. So I know I have 69.20. I need to add something. So, and it's 86.02 for the bill because I got the bill in the mail and that's going to be auto drafted. So I'm going to subtract these two numbers and that gives me $16 and 82 cents as what we need to get zero here. So I normally do 30. I don't know where I got 20 from. Uh, 1682. So I'm going to do a different amount in my sinking funds. I'm just changing it for the first time. And I've already set up my monthly, so I got to change it already. <laughs> That's why writing it out makes so much more sense. Um, you can rewrite it. You can um, set it up a little bit better. And you can make decisions and change things up as you go. So, Southern States. My pen is making a mess here. There we go. All right, Southern States, propane, that's for our winter. We're still using our fireplace. It's cold still. Um, hopefully, by the end of April, we'll warm up. We'll see. Um, $80. We're going to add $20 to this. 
and that's going to give us 80 plus 20 is a hundred dollars and that sinking fund and then taxes county uh, kentucky county tags and taxes the a lot to talk about. All right, uh, so the little tags, a sticker that goes on the back of your license plate on your car, and get those updated. And I think you pay taxes and stuff for the county and stuff. I don't know. We're new here, so we're still figuring it out. But I estimated the amount we had to put every month in based on what we paid last last year. And um, so when the bills hit, all I gotta do is pay from this account. And I think it's uh, thirteen dollars. And 50 cents. I had a lot of money left over from Virginia because property taxes in Virginia were higher than it is here um, for the for the bill. So I really didn't have to add a lot to it in order to make it balance to what it was last year. Um, so we are going to do 247.14, and I don't mind. This is odd because you never know what it's going to be. Uh, plus 13.50. I do try to make these deposits close to what an annual would be as possible 260 64 but it doesn't always work that way car maintenance okay this is a new fund since we're not paying into home maintenance um, i did want to put into car maintenance so this car maintenance is going to be for oil changes and um, if we need tires and stuff like that uh, $50 is going to go in here this month and we have $50. We started out with zero. I said zero and wrote zero. All right, $50. And yeah, so that's already set up. So Xander Identity Theft gets $12 a month. And that would make this $72. There we go. Norton, um, for my husband's laptop, it's 1103. I add 533 here. And so 1103 plus 533. I don't math well in my head. So one six, I mean one six, 1636 is going to be that. Tax preparer, so I've decided to start a new fund for tax preparer, um, $20. And then I'm going to put $20 here for next year. So $20 times 12 is like 240. That's what we paid this year. Um, so that's what we're going to pay next. Well, probably that or a little more. I think it was 245 this year, but as long as I get 240, I'm fine and I can get the change um, out of the budget somewhere else. Christmas and birthday, I reduced this down. I spent $300 um, buying Legos for my son. We always spend $300 in Legos for birthday. Each of my sons get $300 birthday uh, for their birthdays, and then I get $300 for Christmas. And one of my sons was born in June, and I went ahead and bought his Legos now. Um, and I might get some t-shirts and stuff like that for him too. But um, my other son was born on Christmas Eve, so uh, I have to stretch it out <laughs> and everything and make sure I have everything ready. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get that done now because usually I order in April. In April I was traveling, and I just wanted the Legos bought and ready, and then I can worry about the rest of the stuff in June because I don't know what we're doing yet in June. Um, and I wanted to make sure it was ready to go. Let's see, birthday, Christmas. I have 97, 93, and I'm adding $100 a month for that. So oh, I don't need a calculator for that. Uh, $197.93, there we go. Cell phone tech gets $50 a month. And that will give us I'm getting tired, guys. <laughs> 205. In order to make sure you guys have videos, I'm batch filming like ahead of time, so oh, I'm tired. Uh, 250, 275. I'm sorry. 19 is our activities fund, and I always add. What do I put in there? Fifty dollars a month for that. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to use that this month um, for April for travel, but then I remembered I had tax return I can use. 325.19 and that, and I'll probably balance forward that tax return and into April now that I think about it. In my original budgets, I did not plan to balance forward, but I am thinking I'm going to do that. Or I'm going to move it into my personal checking separate and use that account to take care of what I need while I'm traveling. So we'll have to wait and see what I decide to do there. All right, uh, Canva is 110 and I'm adding $10. And then I'm going to subtract the bill that's coming out. So I do know this bill is coming out this month. It's $119.40. I pay for it annually. And that's coming out on this, uh, April 6th. So that's a little reminder there. Minus uh, $119.40. And what I could do is just not um, budget $0.60 cents, um, for next month. That would be like... Um, 10, so I'd be doing 940 um, for the month of May to make it $10 um, because the 60 cents is already sitting in there. So that that's what I have there. And then Epidemic Sound, which comes out, I think, at the end of every October. I have $60 and then I have $12 a month. And I think it's also 145 and I usually I take a dollar out of dividends to cover that extra dollar because this is 144 if you multiply that out. And then so I have $72 here uh, by the time I get to October. And then I start over again, you know, as long as I still want it. If I decide to cancel this, then um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have that on here. Um, and I wouldn't have to fund it anymore. So that is that. So I think we are doing well. That is our budget for this um, month. I need to total this up. I do not have dividends yet because they haven't posted yet, but I will add them in later. So what I'm gonna do is use a sticky note that tells me exactly what I need um, for my budget. And I will change that in my, bud in my uh, monthly and my paycheck budgets when that comes around. So let's total this up and I'll be right back. All right, so it's a little less than I thought. It's about tw uh, maybe not quite $20. So we're going to do $428.53. That's the transfer from the checking account into the savings account on paycheck two time period. So I'm going to use that number and adjust that. Um, but yeah, originally it was going to be two, um, not two, $446.67. So I want to subtract that and see what that looks like. So it's $18 less, $18.14 less, um, which gives a little more room, wiggle room in our buffer of the checking account, which I kind of like. And um, and then uh, we can go from there. Uh, we will get probably about 30, 35 cents in dividends, but we'll see um, when that happens. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my budget and put, the, put that as the actual, because now that I know that number, not here, but in my monthly here. I know this is gonna be the new actual, as soon as I find my sinking funds. 428.56, that way I can get that right. And then I also wanna change it on the calendar because I do rely on the calendar too. So where's my sinking funds over here? Luckily, I use an erasable pen. There we go. Four twenty-eight fifty-six. There we go. So I have everything changed up. I have my sinking funds set up, and I am ready for the month of April. I went ahead and took out what the withdrawal is. Uh, I'm gonna leave the sticky note here because I like putting the total with the dividends here on this line, um, but I like having a sticky note on saying, hey, this is what we're actually gonna pay. And then let's see what else have we got here. We've got 8602 plus then 
and that is a subtraction of 20542. So let's figure out what our total ending balance. Well, I don't want to do the ending balance because I don't have the dividends and I like having the dividends included. So I'm not going to worry about that. I might jump back to this page once I get the dividends and the close out at the end of the month. I'll just flip and show you um, at the end of the month. I'm not going to make a separate video because I've already totaled everything up. But this should be my endings for all these different categories. Again, I only make one transfer at the end of the month. Um, or not the end of the month, in the middle of the month when my husband gets paid in the middle of the month to cover all these expenses. And since I already have $1,900 out here, uh, as soon as these sinking funds hit, I can pay that 205 even if I haven't transferred the funds into this account yet. Because when I do transfer it in the account, um, and these actually are coming out before I actually move the money for this, um, the for move the money for the sinking funds this total or these other funds can support me paying this and i'm not overdrafted in the account it's already there um, the money's sitting there i just can pay it and then not worry about it and actually pay myself back later so that is how i do my sinking funds um, i enjoy doing it this way and I hope this helped. And if it did, please give this a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free. Without a